Hi moms and dads, a warm welcome to today's episode of Today's Parent, where we connect with experts and provide you with information to make your parenting journey a bit more easier. And the other thing we do is to connect with parents just like you and I, so we can learn from them and hear their stories. In today's episode, we have celebrity parents, <laughs> DJ Soxy on the ones and twos, and his beautiful wife, Anne, sharing their journey on this journey called motherhood. Welcome to the show, guys. Asante sana. Kwanza, thank God you've said ones and twos because we have one, two children. <laughs> <laughs> ones and twos. We have twos. On the ones and twos. Thank you for inviting us. It's good to have mm. you. Anne, yes. welcome to the show. Asante sana. You look fantabulous. Thank you. The last time I saw you, uh -huh. that pregnancy chapter, it, it had... with your mask off, <laughs> that pregnancy mask, all black <laughs> and different. I was looking very different. That was very different. Yeah. Let's take it from the very beginning. How did you guys meet? Hey. Ni sema tu. <laughs> yeah. I'll interject where I but think she's, my, she my, forgets my this story. story. Okay. My story yeah. is the truth. Mm. We met in high school. Okay. I mm. was in State House Girls. He was in Dagoretti High School. He was in the band. I was in Rangers. He was in a band? He mm. was in a band. How cool is that? I play instruments. You a very, I'm a musician. A very big yeah. instrument. Bigger than himself. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Which instrument was that? Trombone. Trombone is that the the front line, uh, the one that you pull like a trombone. slide like this, trombone, yeah, it's a wow. brass instrument. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I tromboned into her life. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that was what, you say 10 years ago? What? It's been what? Almost 10 years, 10 years, 11, yeah, that must be 20. Both. Wow, of course, before you then dated and... Mm. But we didn't date in high school. He was I in my friend. You emphasize that. <laughs> yeah, it's like because no. he was Katia in my friend, and my friend was not feeling that story. But she was feeling bad ah. that I'm Katia in her friend. Oh. So, Are you seeing that so eventually, where, where we sp say that the, the the story ends is she actually sliced her friend. Uh -huh. Who does that? Uh -huh. by no, you Who know, does I've that? Known for a couple of years. She sliced, she sliced her friend. She sliced her friend. Imagine, yeah. I am lost for words. High school. So let's focus on your motherhood and parenting journey. <laughs> a, safe con a safe conversation. Yes. You've been together, you've decided. How long have you been together? We've been married Nine, for Nine, ten. Eight. Eight years. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time, eh? It mm. is. That's a long time. That's it all. is. What keeps you guys together? I think the love. And God. Yeah. And, and uh, um, someone told, you once told me, you know, at times it goes beyond love, but the commitment that you've made to your... Uh, partner. Yeah. So at times it's not love, it's commitment because there are those bad days. Eh? Yeah. So where well, you don't feel like you love them, you know that feeling. But yeah, since you've committed to stick to this and make it work, yeah, yeah you make it work. And, and there are better think, days ahead. I also think friendship. Because if you're good friends, you, you go through the storms and yeah. come out. Mm. Yeah. It's a good foundation to yeah. have. Yeah. Definitely a good foundation to have. So eight years how are the first years like? Well, at least you are friends before. Yeah, but no one, no one ever prepares you for, <laughs> for marriage. The first years there was no friendship. I come when the PMC sing up. By the way, uh, you'll never be ready. Conflicts, the that's actually, that yeah, time. And you have to experience it for yourself. Yani, you cannot be told stories of other people because every marriage is it's very different. unique. It's different. Uh, so uh, it was those ups and downs of trying to get to know each other, yeah. you know, this one snores. I'm not saying she snores. <laughs> I, please don't misquote me. What were media? The same as she snores. No, I was just, it was just you. an example. I was just hypothetical thinking. You know, that just, if and if, for you know, example. Yeah, for uh, example, uh, uh, like now I'd say, Mu anachanga socks, di wapi. You know, we are not pointing fingers. Oh, no, no. You see, she sliced her face. I get you. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> I'm getting you. But yeah. So just trying to understand each other. You know, we've been brought up very differently. Yeah. We've come together, we are living together in the same house. And so you begin now to learn, actually, mm -hmm. because you know you can only pretend for some time. That's true. But after that, now the real you comes. So in those bad days, what kept you together is the friendship and the love, of course, for each other. Mm. And support. You need someone else you can run to when you're going through all the drama because the two of you will never see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you need to tell someone the story. And then that someone to tell you, you guys are stupid, you need to do this and this and this. Yeah. So and you need that, someone else. Even just realizing that you're not alone in this. Mm. There are very many other people who've gone through similar situations. So it's not just unique to you to, to go in, you know, so at least you go home feeling 
Yeah. 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 A common ground to work together mm. that no matter what happens, that love never goes. Eh? Mm. That would be a good thing. And for mm. most couples, I think we should all aspire for that. True. True. So then you became a couple. Mm. And the next expectation in your heads possibly was children. Mm. Mm. How many kids did he want? How many kids? How many kids did two. you want? Two. Me yeah, me I wanted so you had clarity, you wanted two, wanted children. Just two children. Close that chapter. A boy and a girl. I keep up. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you are? Yeah, I went to three. When I just got here, I was like, That story is over. Eh. Then but what happened? Then we negotiated, you know. And then he won. Two, three, as in... two, three. You then know, you decided on? Two, two. Because it's an even number. Though I had said, if I get a boy and a girl, I need to relax. Need to that eh. But to kick us a moza, to not a footer. Were you guys hoping to get a child immediately in your yeah. marriage mm. when you got um, you did your wedding and all that, or um, no. focus on your career, focus on your career, and then we wanted year to five. wait. We had planned to wait for some time. I love he had planned now. to wait for yeah, some okay. time. So I had planned to wait for some time. For he wanted to wait for two years. Two years. Yeah. Is that long? Yeah, it's not long. It is. Okay. It's long. So so you need pressure to put him toto. No <laughs> You had the pressure on yourself. Who's no, me didn't have you? pressure. Two years. Now oh, her, ah. she had pressure. She wanted that child at least chap chap. Eh? And me, I wanted to wait. So we apostas appear to can negotiate, then waited for one year. Okay, for one year or some months. It was some months actually. actually. some months. Now, before when we were dating, I was diagnosed with this condition, and it's called PCOS. So the doctor tells me what is PCOS? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Mm. Right. PCOS. You yes. Say. So bottom line is you're not ovulating as often as a normal woman. So the doctor told me you might never have children. So even when we were dating, I'd broken up with him because I told him. Masan ya kupata watoto. If you're not giving me children now, ishia. Na akaishia. Na nikaenda mimi. Akaishia. Nikaenda I and then I started another life. I moved on. Then she came back crying. She came back crying and pleading, "Oh, please take me back. Please take me back. Please, I made a mistake." Yo. To to kai. Alafu mimi nikaona tu sasa. Who am I? Who am I now to say no? So I took her back. Yeah, and she's never left again. No, I don't think she's learned her lesson. You guys are both together. Good together. So then you anyway, diagnosed. Oh yeah, so I was you're, diagnosed. I'm kidding. I could have been evil. So wait, so she was diagnosed. Oh, you do you want to me? go back and correct that? Uh, you, no. To edit that script. No, I'm just saying for the for the piece of the house today in the evening. <laughs> I, that's not what happened. She eh, did not come. Eh, back. Elimona kale kajicho ni merushua ka. Wait, wait. <laughs> so then you are diagnosed yeah, so and you told him this is going to be um, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. So we it was like two years into the dating and we we dated two more years, so four years. Wow. So we dated and then the guy decides he wants to marry me. And me, I'm thinking, my God, do you know what you're getting yourself into? So we get married and he tells me we wait two years. I, have, I don't have two years. I have now. We start trying now. So that was the drama, actually, the first years of our marriage. Because I want a child. He's thinking, let's wait. Okay. Then he gave in to now, let's try. Then we started trying. And the trying was not, nothing Very was coming food. out of the trying. Mm. So the drama started there. The fights, the, hey, the madness, imagine. the moods. So see, how mm. are you dealing with it mentally that possibly you'd never become a father? You know, for some reason I was very okay with it. I was, it was like, okay, so, you know, I'd prepared. Right. So if worse comes to us, we'll adopt. And so I had actually prepared. Looking yeah, back, okay. I think I was a bit not too wise, but I had actually <laughs> prepared. I had said it's okay. Yeah. So That's children, really nice. no children, you know, tuliwawana sisa babu ya watoto, tuishi pamoja. And, and Anna is not ah, consoling to you at all, like, no, we are one children now. I know. Iyo, iso vitu zote ya nasemanga, sayi ndi wanazisikianga, when we were eight years later. Actually, to, hey. to be honest, there are times I used to tell her, it is okay, we don't need to struggle because of children. Yeah. We can live without children. You see, I'm trying to encourage her. We hey. can adopt. But you see, how she gets it. Was that an option for you, it, Anne? No. You yeah. would have considered adoption. Yeah. I think for a woman, having children is... 
what is called to be a woman. I think yeah. that's what you feel. Makes having, you a yeah. woman. So it was making me feel like okay, I'm letting him down. I wouldn't. I never give him children. How? How? How can I never give him children? So mm. how long then did it take for you guys to get pregnant? Three years. Mm. That's a long time. Three mm. years. It's a long, it's a long time. Three years of fertility pills, of hospital visits, of of even the doctor telling you now. Even me now, I've reached my end. Mm. Yeah. I've left you guys to God. You guys mm. sort of yourself. Of stress, out. of a lot of I work. I can imagine. A lot of work. I can imagine. Yeah. Then the day comes that you discover oh. you're, now that of course you have two children. Mm. Mm. Can you remember that day? How was it like? Amazing. <laughs> but he didn't believe me at first. <laughs> it was 23rd of December. The day was 23rd wow. of December, 2013. I remember because from that day, we when we saw the tests. Eh, that it, they were positive tests. So anyway, said tests. They were a couple. I did three tests. Couple just, just to, to confirm. confirm. Hey. Actually pregnant. Yeah. So, but you see, the problem is we had gone through this cycle. She had done tests before, mm. and she says she is pregnant. But to kenda hospitali, to na mbio ah kuna kitu. You see. So I was not excited about it. So we went through Christmas. That's twenty third. We did twenty four, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. The gaina now opened, so came back. And so we went to the gyna, and yeah, he confirmed that, that we, are yeah, we are actually pregnant. We were actually five weeks. I was chap chap, could to find out. <laughs> we were actually five weeks pregnant. That must have been wonderful. Well, it amazing. Was. So amazing. At, that, at that point, what did you expect? Or what were your hopes and um, what motherhood okay. was going to be like, fatherhood for you? Now, the other pose we were given is PCOS usually causes miscarriages. Oh. So you're told, yes, you're pregnant, but you need to be under a lot of care. So Paka Yesika to throw back a bit. But our gainer was really nice. Mm. So I was on medication till around six months. Right. And the pregnancy was not it was not dramatic. Apart mm. from high blood pressure, it was not at the overly dramatic. Mm. That's good. When you guys relax, I don't know if it's related to PCOS. That when you're relaxed and is. you're not worried about is. getting another yeah. baby or when is this baby is. coming, your body just relaxes, relaxes as and well. Then, yeah. I mean, even, just just you know, I, I used to tell her then. You know, watoto ni mungu anapea, na si daktari. Yeah. Daktari ya neza sema hivyo, <laughs> but ideally ni mungu anapea watu watoto. And so, you, at that point, you, you don't hear what I'm saying. Mm -mm. Because there is this stress that you have, this pressure that you have. And then I'm thinking, now, huyu now, mungu, now, now. anatembea kwa nyumba yeah. za wengine, hapujukwe. <laughs> na sayo ndiyo mabestewetu wote tu. Hata number two, hata number two. And you're not even at number one yet. That can be frustrating. When you we are going to take a short break, guys. In studio today, we have the beautiful couple, DJ Soxy and his adorable wife, and sharing about their parenting journey, their motherhood journey, their fatherhood journey. Stay tuned so we can hear more. Welcome back to today's episode of Today's Parent, where we are hosting celebrity parents DJ Soxy and his wife Anne, talking about their parenting journey, their motherhood journey, and as I said, their fatherhood journey as well. Guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Mm. Were you there for both your, um, your children's births, like in the labor, in the labor? Yeah, room? I was there for the first one, uh, for the first one because she was induced, so I was there for the labor, and I was ready to go inside, but... Uh, You're not scared? I was not scared. Look at the way she's looking at you. What will scare a man? <laughs> like DJ Soxy. Like me now, why would I get scared? <laughs> of, and, of Nini and there's something you're not saying. I was you inside there. I was, Do you know how many men so, are terrified of the delivery? Nini is so For a good reason. Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you see? 14 hours. Of of labor. Labor. And then it's in that many, many hours. Throwing up. Nini. Yeah, man. So, so things. So... Uh, but after 14 hours, we the doctor just advised that we needed to do CS. Yeah. So, Sasa, Mimi, na theater, atu ona nani? Theater kayo. Sasa, you know the funny thing? <laughs> Tulianza so, dome hapo. Na, na, na leba, uyu naena sema ingi theater. Uyu nataka ingi for the subway. Na sema, how? How are you not coming with me to theater? But for CS, are you allowed to be in that room? You yeah, can. Some hospitals allow. You can. Okay. Mm. So now. But that should so be easy. It's yes. But you see now, what, value, na uku, what yeah. value am I adding? Talking to me. No. <laughs> sasa ni kwa hapo. Mimi ni faint. 
Unajua watasaidia patient ngani? Huyu ameanguka. So watu confirming so few watu record no, watu wa record waniweke kwa social media. Record DJ Sox. Do not collapse. Na. Sasa mimi nika nikacheza safe but by the way theaters for some reason me theaters. I'm scared of blood. Yes. I was okay, ready for delivery by the way. Delivery in terms of the theatrics the around it now. Nini? Yo ningekuwa. Yo ningekuwa tu but theater. I know. Yeah, theaters are crazy. So yeah, the yeah. first one was uh, CS, the second one was CS. So unfortunately I have not uh, been there when but nimekuwa napigiwa picha live live. Before at Ambly call code tole napigiwa picha kama mtoto ameshikwa upside down. Unatumiwa kwa WhatsApp. Unatumiwa kwa WhatsApp. Congratulations. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> yeah? So you have two kids. But but yeah. you usually have someone who goes yeah, in. Yeah, I always go in with a friend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have somebody who then just, you know, you feel more reassured. Mm. Because somebody actually familiar. me I think I would cause issues. The way I hear stories there, <laughs> ati madaktari wanachinja mtu akipiga two story. Yeah. Yeah. What they do this? Uliona news jana? Huyo mtu aje. Ndio wanaongeanga tu ama wanasikiza music. Eh, like now me I would feel like they're not serious. So I'll be But that's their expertise. Angry. Yeah, but usionge kuwa serious. Ni kama sasa ukienda kwa daktari anaanza kukudunga sindano, unasikia akiongea kwa simu ati. No, okay, that's the... kama kamutura 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 kafote. Na sasa na kudunga sindano anatafuta vein. So see, that's like, different. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's extreme. That's extreme. No, it's the same thing. Okay, that's in focus. Na wana wengine unajua tujui ku multitask. Sasa focus na kitu moja maliza na sana kudunga I think you can bolt out over there Yeah and that's why I would but not I'd rather you not be seen be. him you'll be on this side But I'll hear pizza. stories I'll hear stories <laughs> that they are talking about so me I'll rather not You've Let come out just. of the hospital to a uh, second time parents mm. how has the mother who journey been on you and for you Okay I can say I've had a easy motherhood I wouldn't really I even highlight anything major in my motherhood right cuz i think he was there actually cuz i think he was helpful if i was on my own if maybe he was not present i'd have struggled cuz you see i'm cs i can't stand up the you first few much. weeks yeah. you can't do much so the first few weeks he used to be a lot of help he's the one who'll wake up pick the baby change the diaper right give me a breastfeed he puts back the baby so the first weeks it was I wouldn't really complain and I think it's cuz he was there for me. Thank you Soxi. And we need more dads like you. That Thank was good you. of you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Like naye alijikakamua, alikuwa shule at the same time anafanya wow. exams. I was doing exams by. <laughs> so and I remember kwanza for Ethan, uh, I think the second day where I had exams then Wairimo got sick. Mm. So I had to take Wairimo yeah, to the hospital. Man the following day yeah. when i think ethan was about just a week old or so and you went on so like enda peke yangu werimo pia ni mdogo you know so nilichikaza but you learn parenting is about learning on as you go as you go you know but there are things i think that need to be very intentional uh mostly for the men uh you need to because the way we've been brought up uh, parenting is more about the mom you know the changing diapers the washing the child yeah. the you know the well being of the child is about the mom so at what point does the dad come in and how far can i go as a dad yeah. just to make sure that i connect with this this uh, this little one i remember just before we were discharged from hospital there is a lady who came to teach her on uh, breastfeeding a lactation uh, specialist yeah so nakumbuka when she walked in i wanted to walk out but nakumkoa mama akaniambia no usi ngoja nimalize na yeye nakuja kwako so i just sat down nakamaliza na yeye then he came to me akaniambia so now you see uh, the mom, moms are lucky because they're able to connect with their children when they're in the stomach you know so already she's very many steps ahead of you very true. you need to work very hard for you to connect gotcha. and to bond with, with this your child. baby yeah <clears throat> so she was like let me give you tips on how you'll bond with the baby one uh, wash the baby when you're washing the baby you bond because as you hold the baby they are actually looking at you yeah, so there is that eye contact that you have to change diapers sikazia wanawake change diapers niachukua ndio mtoto eh so the more una change no you change mtoto amekuangalia pia so there is a connection that you have with him kumka yeah. kanembe pia another thing once in a while maybe once a day or once a week whatever just remove your your shirt yeah alafu toa mtoto shati then just place your the baby on your chest mm. then 
cover yourself and just relax for an hour. You were to wow. let her feel or let him feel your voice from inside. Wow. Those are tips. So I left at least empowered. I knew what to do. I know how to do it. Uh, because now even learning, so how do you change a girl? Is a girl. Mm. So how do you wipe a girl? You know, mm. front to back, yeah. not back to front. You know, those things those are the were, things you had to learn. I had to and learn. And consciously learn. Exactly. Mm. And so it was, it was for me a learning process. But because I had someone who taught me, I had someone who told me, these are the things that you need to invest in. And you see, because I really wanted to bond with my child, yeah. I started as early as day one. Just let me wash, let me change diaper. You know, I might not be the best, but let me try. You know, and over time I learned. That's mm. wonderful. Mm. That's wonderful. Mm. So you can attest for sure he was absolutely yeah. 110 percent. He did a percent. good job, a fantastic job actually. Yeah, for you. And it also helped me heal faster, because by CS, by the first week I was doing very well. I could walk. You know, you could. I was. I could move because he was helping those times that yeah I yeah. needed him to. Yeah, and you've mentioned you're very passionate about uh, polycystic ovarian um, syndrome. syndrome. You know that cause. Mm. What are you doing in that space? Is there anything extra you're doing in that space? Mm. Would you want to share? Yeah. So this year, actually, I've formed PCS Foundation of Kenya. So I've been working with different women different times. Okay. But now we are all under one umbrella. So there are many women out there wow. who are struggling with the PCOS. Wow. WhatsApp group now has a hundred and something. Wow. Yeah. And they are, they are, they are active. Yeah. So I formed the foundation. And even just recently, I had the first event, which had like 50 people, which was a very good thing for me to see people coming out. You know, most people don't want to say they have PCOS, because once you see I have PCOS, you'll start thinking, oh, so I can never have children. So most people are not willing to come out and say. So it was very impressive for me to see women come in with their spouses and people who their friends to come and hear what PCO, what effect PCOS has on our lives. What effect, if you could just share briefly, what effects does PCOS have? So symptoms for PCOS, you have irregular periods, you, you, it, we produce more male hormones. More male hormones, so we tend to grow hair where hair is not supposed to grow. So you might see someone has a beard, and we tend to lose hair just like men, you know, like um, like balding. balding. Balding, yeah. So you'll find either our hairlines will move or we lose hair. Actually, like a man, upper katikati. And Even that's different I, from there's a lady in the yeah, it's very different. It's called androgenic something. Okay. So unapa, there's a lady in the group who kipara kabisa. So thank God for weaves and wigs because it it comes up from the root. That trauma and stigma, you might, can, working like that can be very, very hard for any woman. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So obesity, uh, what else? Anxiety, depression. But anxiety and depression are mainly pegged to all these things we are and going through. Yeah. So it's very easy for mental health to be affected. Okay. So mainly those are the symptoms. But okay. the first thing that someone should see and go to hospital is irregular periods. Yeah. If you stay for three, four months and your periods are not coming, you need to go to hospital. Interesting. Yeah. Is it supporting you in that course? Ah. And I'm wondering, like for men who have a wife or girlfriend going through PCOS, mm. Mm. you know, what kind of support they can offer their partners? I think we we'll just ask the government to give us hardship allowance <laughs> so that we're so able to support see. our wives. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think uh, we can only do so much. So much. Yeah. Yeah, because we cannot feel what you're feeling. As, as a, but we can only support where we can. Taking them to hospital, uh, taking them for tests. There are very many tests that they go for. So just taking them for tests. Right. Uh, at least appreciating them. One of the things also, she, maybe she hasn't mentioned, is uh, weight gain. Mm. We gain a lot of weight and very fast. So just seeing the weight and uh, telling her <laughs> she still looks beautiful. Yeah, just that's important because is. a lot of women are so yeah. you know, yeah. weight conscious. Yeah. Yeah, so just trying to appreciate her and just trying to focus on the good things, you know, that she has, that you can celebrate and that you can magnify. And is it to be to tudogo, tudogo? Mm. And even nature. acne, you tend to break out mm. a lot because testosterone gives you a lot of... Right. On the, it affects the skin and the hair a lot. Mm. And mm. even just knowing what to, how to pick your battles. Yeah, just knowing what will offend you and what you will allow to pass. 
because with a lot of hormonal uh, imbalance mm. comes a lot of Moods. mood swings yeah. you know today I can imagine nimefanya kesho ikwe hivi leo ande kulia tu alalia sasa unashindwa na nimedu almost me nimedu hata hata hivi beyond the news hapo ndio ni sijui uhuru alienda oi nilie so sasa kuna kuna mahali pia unataka kumwambia yeye sasa ni utoto lakini pe unaji you have to be strong for her and be sensitive you know so at times unalia na yeye uongo it's okay this is a safe space guys as we are winding up your word of advice to dads out there mm. okay let me just uh, ask all dads out there it's one thing to provide financially but it's even more to just be there for your children and so i urge you all fathers out there fathers to be those that are, are looking forward to be fathers that intentionally invest time spend time with your children that's i think the most beautiful thing that you can do for them beyond even just providing but spending time with them those moments are the moments that they'll remember when you are not there well put mm. and your mm. your parting shot for the mothers i think for the mothers i'll tell them uh, you don't have to be a superman you don't have to be a superman if you need help ask for help don't don't try to put on all the hats it's very easy for a woman to get lost in the in the home setting you'll feel i want to do everything but at times you just need a break self care is important so that's all i can tell mothers absolutely thank you and and thank you dj soxi for thank coming thank you for inviting us tunashukuru sana it's been so much fun it has. some of the information that you have shared i don't know if you need to verify after the show <laughs> <laughs> i hope nobody gets in trouble after this show <laughs> well, thank you for your time you've been thank absolutely you for amazing having us. Yes, thank, thank you thank you for coming mm. thank you so much and with that we come to the end of today's episode of today's parent where we had the celebrity parents dj soxi and an beautiful they are and in their own way they are finding every way they can intentionally parent their children we hope you do the same as well i have been your host kristin casina we've been here in studio at little cribs the home of fun durable and affordable kids furniture if you're looking for parenting information head over to www.supermamas.co.ke for previous episodes of this show today's parent go to switch tv on youtube you'll find other amazing episodes It's been a pleasure having you. We look forward to having you next time.